It seems oh. to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Ooh. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. No, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Lead the way. What? I have found your vile self at last. <laughs> You're wearing a hat, Gail. Go on then. State your business with me from a safe distance. If it's all the same to you. Gail, don't do this. You're breaking my heart. I have violent, depraved thoughts. One that refuse to go away. We all have those from time to time. I once wished a most impure to Stop saying this. Your own morbid little fantasies. I'm sure they're nothing to worry about. So long as they remain fantasies. You know good and well it didn't. <laughs> I swear what happened to Alfira wasn't my fault. I'm sure that will be of small comfort to her. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Alfira wouldn't have harmed a housefly. Don't. Make me a feel gentle bad. young soul slain in her prime. Stop it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Lazelle. I was no friend to Alfira, but there was no sense in killing her. I'll be watching everyone in this camp like a hawk. Especially you. <laughs> yeah, I've got urges. What do you think about that? Many a good warrior savors the scent of blood in the air. These don't to match. My suggestion. Attack with purpose and savor your kills. And if the urge proves too much, well, I'm sure we can find you a goblin or two to carve up. I, I don't want to say I didn't kill Alfira, because I did. Saying it wasn't my fault. Saying I didn't do it, you're wrong. Just so you know, I don't judge you for what happened to that bard. Astarian. Alfira. Shut up. <laughs> but the look of guilt on your face was priceless. Astarian. Yeah, I'm glad you had fun watching me sweat. I don't care, really. But you could have been more subtle about it. Stop talking to me, Astarian. Jesus, Alfira's just chilling there. Shadowheart. That was actually kind of heartbreaking that they had Shadowheart as the person who questioned me first. That was nuts. I thought this camp was supposed to be our safe haven. Not quite so when we wake up to dead tiefling bards. I may have difficulty sleeping for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna... I, I wasn't responsible. I really wasn't. <laughs> like, it was not Celine's choice. What happened with Alfira, it, I wasn't responsible. So, you're not in full control of your faculties? Nope. <laughs> nope. If you think it might happen again, warn me. I would hate to have to kill you. Understandable. Understandable. Thanks. Carlag, baby. Are you all right? Me. Never been better. Oh, fuck me. It's you from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of Tear did. Yep. Haven't met any Tearans lately, no. Good. Great. Glad I don't have to kill you. Yeah, you probably could. A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire. You know how dope would be if we could blood. see this instead of just a being told war. it? You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line.
It's the tadpole in our heads. It connects us. Wait, what was she, what was she saying? Yeah. What were you saying before we were interrupted? Uh, right. Some so-called paladins of Tear <laughs> are in right on pursuit it. of yours truly. Karnak. From that peak I got into your head, I'm not the only one with problems on top of problems. A mind flayer tadpole, huh? And no joy getting it sorted as of yet, I see. And a dead bard. What's your name? I'm Celine. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Lead the way. One horn, the stink <laughs> of Avernus, Advocatus Diaboli. Well, I'll be God's damned. The blade <laughs> of frontiers. Yeah, we needed a long rest. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. Karlak, the Archdevil Zeriel's gladiator. I didn't take the blade for a fool. <laughs> I... <laughs> a great fire roars through you. The fire of the first like we should hell. see this. You, you know? are Karlak, tearing through demons across a blood Make it red landscape of fire a lot and of volcanic telling, not showing, you know? The Take advantage of the storytelling the medium war. that is video games. With every swing of her axe, Karlak fulfills Mistress Zariel's purpose. Proof! Clear as summer sky. It's over, Karlak. It's time you feel the sting of the blade. I've tried to tell you. I'm not what you think I am. Another vision. Karlak's blade rays slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Will shudders with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the blood war, not an agent of it. Karlak. By Baldurin's helm, I... No, I will not be tricked. By whose helm? Don't invoke that truth. name like it means something. I may be an effective you know I mean? soldier, <laughs> but I never wanted to serve Zariel. I did oh, away yeah. from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. Horrible logic. <laughs> Stand down. You saw what I saw. Karlak is not a danger. No! Devils cannot be trusted. Gods, you're stubborn. Karlak's not a devil and you know it. Would you listen to sense? This doesn't have to end badly for either of us. You know monsters better than anyone. Can't you look in my eyes and see I'm not a devil? You don't know what this means. You don't know what you're asking me to do. I'm asking you to live, Will. I don't want to hurt you. And to be frank, I'd rather not find out how the Blade got his name. I swear to you, on all I am, I am not what you think. Shit! Will's voice actor d devouring this scene. Shit. You really are no devil, are you? No. I've... I've been deceived. What if you were playing as Karlak and you oh, rolled up into the, the grove? Gods. Would he freak out? I thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. Be but for real, Will. <laughs> been enough threats today. Be for real. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. Be for I see real. the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it, even when the hells burn hottest. Ah! And the fact that those two ended up together by the end of my game. Ah! You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. Someone set you on Karlak's tail, and I'd like to know who the source of yours is. I can say only this. Karlak's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. One night soon, when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Karlak. Glad Will saw sense. Even more glad he decided to stick around. It takes a pretty slick mover to track down old Karlak. I'm glad he's joined us, too. Glad you two could make peace. Same. Now, instead of a liability, I've got a friend. Or I will have Sue, anyway. Love her. Love her to death. Soldier. We've got some infernal metal. What should we do with it? 
Damon told us to look out for this stuff, right? Let's go find him. What do you know about the city of Eltaro falling into Avernus? It wasn't all that long ago. I never knew the whole of how and why, but I remember the devil slavering with delight. I should have looked after the Elterans more. Gone out of my way to make sure they were all right. The long and short of it was, I didn't want to risk my neck. I let them get on with the nightmare, same as I had to. Mm. But Avernus is no place for decent folk. I'm glad they got out. So glad. Well, Avernus was home to one person who's decent. This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. Hmm? I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? No fucking idea. This is all there has ever been. I remember only snippets of red. It'll come back to you. Maybe Aww. you'll recognize something we passed, or... Maybe we'll find out what happened to you. I get the feeling we've got a long road ahead of us. If only y'all knew! I some answers along the way. <laughs> How fares the search? Found it. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just oh, a moment. Look so sad. <sighs> and I think. <sighs> there. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect me that kind of <laughs> She's like in now. Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less changeable. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Nice. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. And hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? Mm-hmm. Damn, druids. Karlak! Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. We'll find you that infernal iron and get you that second upgrade too, then. Sooner rather than later would be good. I feel like I'm burning serious fuel. Will you be all right? Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> I'm ready to burn all night. Speaking of, I could eat a giant badger. Is it almost time for dinner? Why, hello, there's... Ah, uh, fidget isn't the talk of the camp. What's up? It's a rare day when I see one of you lot about. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! What's up? You're twitching something fierce, love. And your eyes. You look like you don't know the meaning of the word sleep. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. There's no need. I'm fine, really. Sorry, love. I'll just lose the run of myself sometimes. I must say, though, you're looking mighty peaky. Are you all right? Mm, I've been better. It's difficult to explain. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad 
The wife was none too pleased <laughs> and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. Hmm. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Well, I hardly think that a mad old woman's lotions and potions are going to cure us. We should keep moving. What is it? <laughs> like, what is like, whatever. Ooh, let's ask her about the dark urge. There's something awful about my instincts, about my desires. Then let old Dan Theater have a look at you. First things first. Tell me what's at you. I keep losing new parts of my memory? Do I? <laughs> I didn't know that. I lost all of my past memory and worse. I, nah, 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 I never sleep. Every night I endure hours of slaughter in my dreams. Oh, blessed Helm. That sounds horrible. I don't know how I'd handle such a thing. Yeah, I'm manipulated with this bitches. Heart recently. Nope. An accident of some sorts? That could explain things. I don't really know what's wrong with me, and that's the fucking problem. Then let all down the ankle have a look at you. First things first. Tell me what's at you. <laughs> oh, this is... Uh, dark urge stuff. <laughs> Number one is so concerning to be standing behind you, so I'll go with... I know nothing of my past, and my brain feels thick as fa- as- hmm. And my brain feels thick as a bog. No. That's as serious as serious gets. Our past defines us, Petal. Without it, why, we could be anyone. Were you hurt recently? An accident of some sorts? That could explain things. <laughs> this is interesting. There's a lot of dialogue that's different. <laughs> what the f Uh, I got a tad pull in my noggin, but the others don't have symptoms like I do. You poor pet. <laughs> She's my like, heart uh goes out to you truly. <laughs> But I confess, that doesn't explain all your symptoms. Some of the things you told me, what? I've never heard of a parasite doing that. This is serious. I've never a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. Such as? I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Yep. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. No, that'll do it. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. <laughs> don't mind me. I was just passing through. No bother. We're just daydreaming anyhow. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? Oh. Good roleplay moment then. I want a new life entirely. To be a wholly new person. Know what you mean. Do we ever? But 
I, I've heard there's all sorts in the city. I don't remember finding it, it Dennis might and Bex. Be like it was in El Terrell. In Baldur's I mean, Gate, in my other playthrough. In Baldur's Gate. I need to look for them. They this give time. you a chance. Good luck to you. Wish us a little too. I think we'll all need it. Surely destined for the slaughter. My mind is nuts. What would be more perfect than to die by your love's side? And no love was not enough. Yeah, because that's the most normal fucking sentence I've ever heard. Oh, man. Such a spooky introduction. The feet just out. Cuts and stuff. Ugh. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? <laughs> um. Quite the question. It's the reason for it. Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Ask away. So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. To be slaughtered. Like what? What is the worth of a single mortal life? How would she answer this? Hmm. I would probably answer that depends on a person's deeds, leaning a bit more into like the whole I guess, insecure aspect for her own self. Like, she's speaking of herself when she says that. That depends on a person's deeds. I am sure thou believest as such. Very well. Mm. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Farewell. Unfamiliar familiarity. Release Withers. Do I know Withers? Interesting. Oh, <laughs> oh our favorite devil. Second favorite devil. Sorry, Missouri, you're second to the Disney villain that She's is Ralph. Lord. Well, you've been naughty. And you know what happens when you're naughty. I wonder how the scene plays out if you kill Carla. damn it. Anyone but her. Forgot I can flirt with Missora of Rip. All right, and who are you? Well, you absolute stinker. My pet's been unruly, and his leash needs a yank. We had a deal, Will. But 
Karlak still breathing? I've taken more pleasant shits than you, Mizora. <laughs> and at least those can be buried after. That's no kind of talk for a lady. By the way, Whack. Karlak, Whack. Zariel sends her regards. Whacker. <laughs> yeah, I've heard enough. You're not leaving this place alive. Kill me. Oh. I wouldn't recommend it. I die, and Will turns to a Lee Muir and gets sucked right down to the hells. Which we should have been able me. to fucking kill Mizora at some point. Not for doing my boy like this. Will burns in the fires of Avernus. The lightning storms of Dis strike his flesh. His soul passes through each layer of the hells, gaining their essence and their torment. I, I forget he hasn't always had horns sometimes. That's better. What the hell have you my done? Will. The promise broken. Guys, double horns. A price paid. You know the terms. Get used to the new form, pet. There's no going back. Some magic even I can't undo. Whack. Now. Quack. Let's see how the frontiers fare without their precious blade. Karlak, keep an eye on him, would you? I'll be keeping mine on you. <laughs> oh, and Will, don't forget, our pact still stands. Ta-ta. Whack. Mizora makes me so fucking mad, and the fact that we're never able to really fight her is so whack. Gods damn her straight back to the hells. Just look at me. I did what was right, and Mizora made me pay for it. I'd be hunting devils and demons, she said. Traitors and hypocrites, heartless evils of all sorts, but not... Not Zariel's victims. Not innocent tieflings. How many others do you think that she's had him kill that didn't deserve it? Is this the first one that he's, like, questioned, or...? Alright. The Blade of Frontiers has some explaining to do. I'll say what I can, but it won't be enough. It's Mizora who grants me the power to conjure armor and cast Eldritch Blasts. Before I was infected, blast is my I could even call hell beasts and summon festering clouds. But I promise you, every thrust of my blade and every flame I sparked was for the good of the coast. Hell beasts. So you're 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 packed of the chain then? The moment I pacted myself to Mazora, I have not regretted for a heartbeat. It was my proudest deed. It was worth the sacrifice. All I can give you on that is my solemn word. Yep. I fully believe that. The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. So how does it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I the feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't <laughs> seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? You and Astarian, bro. I see the Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> it's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see... The horns are sick too. <laughs> Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will the people slay are their monsters. Keep them safe, and one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. Uh, you should get out of the pact. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. Will approves of you just but talking. I don't have a crazy. clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. There's got to be some loophole. There could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. 
My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. Well, that's the why only we can't way attack out her. is if I can mm. out bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We gotta put our worms together. I feel like I've said this. <laughs> Nah, we're gonna put our worms together. We're gonna figure this out. We can. I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. It's just like uh uh Gail said. Almost said wizard. Gail has a name. <laughs> it's almost like Gail said, uh, uh a worm shared is a worm halved. Tonight you can't chase no. the thoughts of that <laughs> no, poor girl you no, killed from your head. No. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject You know what it is, agony. but anytime I see them red edges on the side of the screen, I panic. Let's go for a walk. Get up and go for a walk, bitch. I'm not fucking sighing dreamily. No, get up and go for a walk. Homegirl does not sleep. <laughs> For a walk where? You see the fucked up spot we in? Your body barely complies. You feel such rushes from your thoughts of the dead woman. Back. Why did she die? The mystery gnaws at your pounding heart. Oh, is this dude? <laughs> Tonight, you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. I'd imagine. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming. That's not a fun thought. Skewered in abject agony. That's not a fun thought for me either. Yeah, let's go. Go for a walk and try to stop yourself from fucking retching. Throwing up. You are not getting sleep. Oops. Girl, go for a little walk. Your body barely complies. You feel such rushes from your thoughts of the dead woman. That's not- Why did she die? The mystery gnaws at your pounding heart. Milady? Ha! <gasps> Jubilant day! I have found your vile self at last! <laughs> you were wearing a hat! It has fell! Huh? Your loyal and ever adoring butler. You're not explaining I followed the parts you, that my matter. Dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. I thought he was a kobold from behind. What in the fuck are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm in a nightmare, aren't I? We are in a place darker than any prison, hotter than any fire, where the souls of the innocent scream in sacred agony. Your flayed and putrefied heart. <laughs> thump, thump. What? I like, found like... you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> uh <-huh. laughs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog muck on the road. Don't talk shit about Alfira like that. I'm fucking heartbroken that she's dead. Oh God. Oh God. I didn't kill her. It happened while I was asleep. Ah, yes. Milady has always had some spontaneous little outbursts of joy. You obviously know me. So how about you get to explain them? Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. Dreadful. Okay. Give me a costume. You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. He didn't explain shit. <laughs> this isn't my tadpole. No, bro, it's not. 
You're going to tell me everything about my past life. Though I would love to regale you with your past triumphs, uh, I cannot. Why? I am forbidden to interfere. Our debtors will not allow it. Like the gods or Be like true your master? to yourself, my lady. No. No, I didn't wake up. It was like in my... Okay. Yeah, that answered my question from earlier. <sighs> The Deathstalker's mantle? I got a cape! The shadow itself. Once per turn, when you kill an enemy, shroud yourself in. <gasps> Jubilant day! I have found your vile self at last! What are you exactly? Skeleritas fell! Like, what is he? Your loyal and ever adoring butler. You're kind of freaky looking. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> <laughs> what in the hell do you mean you're my butler? Oh, one hell of a butler. The most unprincipled servant you could hope for. You have always uh, struggled to conduct yourself properly without me. This dude roasting? I found you following the stench of that bard. Whack. Don't say that to me again. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog muck on the road. Oh, you're going to piss me off. <laughs> I'm going to go with the, uh, the uh, denial route. Did you cause me to kill her? Such fine work could never be done by a wretch like me. Huh? Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. This shit's cool as hell. Like that little cloak, fire. I gotta put in my first reaction to seeing this dude. Cause I you can't remember what it was. this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. It wasn't on purpose. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. This scene is what fully convinced me to write the character that the way I did. You're going to tell me everything about my past life. Though I would love to regale you with your past triumphs, uh, I cannot. I am forbidden to interfere. Our debtors will not allow it. Because this seems like it's alluding to Be a true god is involved. To yourself, my lady. Had I played this, um, like instead of Tab as my first playthrough, I would not have understood a word of that. But now that I know, like, the, the dynamic Ao has with all of the other gods, it sounds like he's alluding to a god when he says our betters wouldn't allow it. I don't know what else he could be talking about, but... I'm fairly confident in my, in, in my, uh... Reading of the situation. And now it's light-colored. <laughs> Why can't I open this shit? Chests unlocked. Oh, my prayers are answered. <sighs> Scared the hell out of me. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. I want the loot. Give me the loot. Why? Oh, she hasn't told me yet. All right. But why? This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. Moon witch! Why do you care so much? God damn it. No, I'm getting her to admit this bullshit. I got a bunch of rerolls. Why do you care so much? I should have stayed quiet. You <laughs> want the truth? Fine. I worship Shah, mistress of the night. Saluna's twin tells me? and foe. Now that you have the truth, <laughs> please don't make a big fuss about it. You worship Shah? 
Blimey. She and my beloved Mistra are not exactly friends. Beloved? Okay. <laughs> you could have told me. How long were you going to keep this a secret? Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy <laughs> is everything for Shah's children. It is our code, our creed, our shield. I even keep secrets from myself. I had my memories suppressed so that nothing I know could be used against the Dark Lady. That's the first time she told me that Once too, I prove isn't myself, it? my memories will be restored. I'm I've... not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. <laughs> Though, perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind. How, how would she answer this? How would she answer this? Uh, Jesus, my hair is freaking me out. I don't think she'd give enough of a fuck to answer three or four. Um, all right, let's see how open-minded I can be then. Tell me more. Talk to me later. We've got more pressing matters to see to right now. Ah. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. Hi. An owl bear. Its A big bigger. face looming out of the darkness. Let's study the behavior. The owl bear's one good eye flicks away for a moment. One good eye. You follow its glance. Oh. And see an owlbear cub. Poor baby. You mean no harm. The owlbear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now, or step closer, and die. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what now? As you approach, a guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattle the door. Then, a low <laughs> moan. Someone, or something, is having a bit of fun. Anybody in? Uh, let's open the door. Wait, don't interrupt them. Let me do it. They sound disgusting. <laughs> Astarian. Please, do the honors. I've literally never seen this option pop up. Please do the honors. Astarian's <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> what the hell oh my god. <laughs> You're making a lot of noise. I just wanted to join in. <laughs> smash. Stupid ass. Oh, smash you. Look at how big she is. Don't disturb a half ogre in the making. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's a star and he needs something. What's up? There you are. I was just thinking what? about you. Oops. And that delicious moment we shared the other night. Okay. <laughs> the moment when you bit me? The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but truth be told, <clears throat> you were my first. <laughs> I love him. In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Mm. They might not be as open to the idea as I was. Alas. It doesn't hurt to ponder the question, though. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined, like well-aged brandy. He said he tastes disgusting. But the give. What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. <laughs> well, I was gonna make a joke. Whatever. Something exotic, surely. And a mon. Um. Hmm. 
A liqueur? I still don't know how to pronounce that. Oh. I'm then liquor? Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. <laughs> Could I convince you to kill someone less useful? No one's getting killed, I swear. We're just two friends Let's talking. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Hmm. <laughs> This question again. This character's more into Shadowheart. I picked Shadowheart last time, didn't I? Yeah, I'm still gonna go with Shadowheart. A fine choice. She is enticing. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Good hunting. Eh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. Was it sweet dreams? Well, hello. What can I do for you? Well, hello. All right, now I get to talk about your Shah worship. Shah's blessings upon you. All right, so why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Was it Faconia or Shar herself that did that? No, it's Shar, because she's the one who offers to take it away. Is there anything I can do to help with it? I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shar. Pain will give way to go. loss <laughs> and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Not wrong, but like... Sharby taking it to crazy levels. Ah, uh, why would Shar subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then... It would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. I would hate the idea of tiptoeing around my words just to make sure I don't piss off Shar. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. Hmm. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. I can't wait to get to her final mission again. I, I, the House of Grief is a fucking hell to get through, but I'm one, confident that I can do the battle a lot better because I just feel like I'm better at playing the game. And two, I'm so excited to see how she reacts to keeping her parents alive. I'm excited! So you knew more than you were letting on before. I hope you'll be more honest in the future. I'll try my best. But secrecy is ingrained in me. Yeah. Lady Shah considers it greater protection than any shield or armor. It is. It, it literally is. I want to speak of your Shah worship. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Do you not want to? I have no problem with Shar worshippers if that's what concerns you. Are we in the same boat? I can't remember. <laughs> Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's <laughs> see how you handle this. Okay. I am indeed a disciple of Shar. Mistress, Mistress of, of the night. night and Lady of Loss. I assume you've heard of her? Nope. <laughs> Not this character. At first, when she had first told me that, I was like, nope. Don't know who the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> so I didn't need to feign ignorance. But now I'm like, yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. She's a bitch. And she's like first on my list of people I need to kill. 
She is right next to Zario for like, we didn't get to kill them, but we should get to. I've heard Shar is worshipped. Hmm. Why, why would I have heard of that? Yeah, go remind me. This character wouldn't know shit about that. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer, the patron of darkness and loss. Please continue. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Pain. Hope, the promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed I those thought, cloaks. Hold on. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked, <clears throat> beyond the vanities of mortals. Uh huh. Okay. Someone. Ooh, I might have brought them up before, but someone um drew the, drew like a similarity between her wound, and like a depiction of depression. Especially with, I, I, first of all, I love that interpretation. I'll have to find the commenter so that I can put them on the screen. But first of all, I love that interpretation. Second of all, I think that it rings really true, especially with the fact that what she's specifically talking about, like shedding is like, hold on, is pain, hope, and the promise of better days. That sounds like you're embracing numbness and... Because it doesn't even sound like they're, they're embracing loss. It's, she keeps saying a step beyond that. That doesn't sound like reconciliation. That sounds like fucking ignoring it. <laughs> and to me, that really, really does hit home with that um, allegory for depression. It, it feels like it really does. How exactly do Shar worshippers turn people to their goddess? We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. <laughs> the institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. Topple corrupt organizations There's sounds often fire. Suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truth. What do y'all count as uh, corruption? She would be really good um, on propaganda. <laughs> she'd be she'd be really fucking good drawing people to her cause. You make it sound convincing, and I'd like to hear more from you. You're wiser than most. Many people balk at our doctrine. It's the reason why we cherish secrecy. You've a habit of saying all the right things. Either you're very glib or we're kindred spirits. You're not saying Maybe anything both that's like know myself ourselves we can talk more on this whatever <laughs> but what she's saying isn't so inflammatory that i'd be like that sounds fucking evil shadow heart herself has not done shit and i'd like to hear her speak about her what drew what you her specifically i think i i don't remember if i spoke about this the first time because there's no doubt that i've said this about other companions even if i didn't say this about shadow heart if you want to try to change someone's mind, you gotta understand why it works that way. Or more importantly, if you wanna be there when someone turns of their own accord, you have to establish that you are a judgment-free person. She's not saying shit that goes directly against my morals at the very least. I'd like to get to know you more. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? I don't know. Ooh, tell me something about yourself besides Char and besides the tadpoles. No, I haven't asked her this yet. I was like, didn't I ask this? No, that was on a tab playthrough. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Yeah. You'll have to point out night orchids to me if we ever pass one. It's a deal. I love her. Anything else? No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. I love her! With my memory suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I, I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. 
They brainwashed her from since she was a kid, or was that a recent thing? No, 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 no. They snatched her when she was a child. How much of this, like, erasing your memory has to do with keeping Char secrets? Wasn't she already brainwashed? Why does it matter? That seems a little extreme to have your memory suppressed. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. <laughs> Shall will reward me when I succeed. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> will, will she? Will she? Okay. Sure. Then I might swap out a star in for Carlac. Oh, let's. Lazel, this better not. Lazel, this better be something normal. I have a confession. No, it's not. No, it's not. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless. Oh my gutless, god. Unimpressively bland. Lazel, no. <laughs> this is not the playthrough for this. Ah. <laughs> Lazel, why do you gotta make this shit difficult for me? I'm I I love Shadowheart. Lazel, stop trying to make shit difficult for me. Now, well, you've earned my respect and more still. You've proven your wits. You are efficient and dominant in and out of battle. This you've whack. proven your courage. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon to plunge into another. Whack. And you're hardly bland. Your scent alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. Lazel. <sighs> Isn't it obvious? Lazel. I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps <laughs> later. But I want it all the same. Do you stop? <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with no. I no. Here's the thing. I'm not even going to slightly indulge this because if I have to get approached in act 2 with her trying to fight me for for source of my bruise talk, I'm going to fold and there goes the whole playthrough. I'm gonna have to fucking hard pass right now. No, Lazel. The answer is no. Your loss, I fear. It is. One day soon, you will wonder how my lips might have tasted. What's how wrong my with you? How your skin might have felt. And you will wish you could return to this lost moment. Shadowheart? There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. Is this the dark justice your shit? Do continue. I can never take for granted how someone might react when they learn I worship Lady Sharp. Oops. Easier to just keep it a secret than take the risk. But I'd you imagine. showed you had an it open sounds mind. Scary. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. I love the way my character looks. The blue? As long <laughs> as I pray to Lady Shah, I wish to serve her as a dark justicia. I need there to... There is scarcely a greater way I to fully to dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps like. if you become the head of her church. Don't know if I could do it my own, To become a maybe, dark justicia is to I'll become to the Night Singer's sword arm. Her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It doesn't sound any less it's crazy the second wanted. time. I prayed it was my calling. But mm -hmm. Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself <laughs> worthy of the rank. Mm -hmm. She said I was not ready. I'm remembering the first reaction I had to being like, not your mom! mom. <laughs> mother, mother, I should add. The Mother Superior. Head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's that fucking Gate. Enclave? Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove inscrutable. 
You know something interesting that I that I wasn't expecting from Shadowheart and other Shar worshippers in general? The way Astarian describes how vampires don't view like clerics with a stake or people trying to kill the vampires as competition. They see other vampires as competition. It 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 almost gives root to like a, a real narcissistic kind of nature to them. I'm curious to know why they didn't take that up with like the Sharans. Maybe it's just like an interesting bit of like difference in how different groups of people treat each other, but you would expect a bit more undercutting amongst Sharans, but it seems like they've they've mimicked a cult pretty nicely with the whole family aspect and cutting you out if you don't believe in the family or whatever. You know what I mean? Isolating you from the only family you've ever known, which is the cult, so that you're pressured to stay. I, I think that's interesting. I like the different characterization, but I'm surprised they didn't have it similar. Yeah, why be so secretive? Dark Justicias are hated by many. Mm -hmm. Judged to be ruthless Me fanatics. too, because fuck them in the House of Grief. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. Whack a shit in the world is but darkness being able to cover up daylight. answer to your question. <laughs> I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. Do you think she'll ever relent? I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my I mission do. and reach Baldur's Gate, hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. She's always been a bit of a it's rebel. It's an though. illusion, a distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Even here, she shows resistance to the like deep parts of Lady Shar's teachings, you still hope. N and no matter how much you want to talk about how much you don't, you still do. You know what I mean? Thank you for sharing. Blood All right. And you. Shush, shush, shush. I got you. I'm going to fuck you up because I still have beef from the last time we fought. She was the first real boss battle that I faced. Fuck you. Fuck you, Ethel. Fuck you. Last, she was the first real boss battle I faced where I was, I was, I was going mad. <laughs> I can't actually remember how much of the fight made it into that video, but I was fucking pissed. Any day. Hey, Rena will be fine, I'm sure. Why did she fucking? Why was she able to escape so quickly? Back. What do you need, Gail? Oh, he's looking at his bestie. Bestie. <laughs> his ex, not his fucking bestie. I guess, if she represents magic, I guess. Pretty. My, you startled me. I, uh, it's miles away. Everything all right? Oh, uh, the figure you conjured, who is she? Someone you missed? No, no, she's no one, really. I was just practicing an incantation. Be for real. Come on now. You don't have that look on your face when you're looking at no one. What can I say? She's... She's Mistra. I can't quite describe it. The need I sometimes feel to see her. To draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. <laughs> Only the fabric that she herself is. And embodies. The weave. Mistra is all magic. As far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. Big praise. <laughs> Didn't realize the depth of your devotion. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the weave for I as like long as I can remember. My life. There's nothing Good like choice. it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, 
all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Would you like to experience this? Yeah! And follow my lead. This look by the player character is insane. They are given the craziest eyes to Gale. Now you. I've wondered about having that hairstyle before. Performance. Imitate the gesture with a flourish. I wonder who did the mocap for Tav, or, you know, the character in general. Nothing. You feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. Oh, it's warm and comfortable. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athran Mistraril Kantrak Eo. Repeat the words, bold and proud. Nice. Suddenly, the scent of rose water and a sense of well being. A sliver of weave that tastes sweet on the tongue. Very good. Now, I want you to picture in your mind the concept of harmony. As true as you can. <gasps> Insight is fire. A familiar tune will be fire too, though, because it's almost like I'm trying to get back my memory type. Nah. Imagine being a child, innocent, free from your afflictions. <laughs> Bro! I'm like, bro! There go all my inspiration. That hair sounds good. I like Gail's hair as well. Oh, is it sense? The presence of a woman. The woman who hovered over Gale's palm. There's something. Mr. is also on the like list for you at least need to get cussed out, kiss. girl. Then the pleasure of being cloaked in peace. You <laughs> are safe. Lord. You are nestled in the cup of Mistra's hand. Mistra <laughs> You did it. She need to get cussed the fuck You're out. Channeling the weave. How does it feel? I don't have nearly as much smoke for her as like, say, Char and Zariel, but she needs to get cussed the fuck out and her ass beat just once. Magical, sensual even. That it does. The weave connects you. The moment feels intimate. I'm not trying to flirt with him. Yeah, the satisfying end to a wondrous experience. It's time to let go. The weave evaporates. And as it does so, you realize the night feels suddenly cold and lonesome. <laughs> Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Yeah, let's go with what do you think about all that's happened to us so far? We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? Sure. You must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must yeah. I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way thoughts. to rid ourselves personally. I think finding this house in is our best bet. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. Oh my god, my headset smacked the thing. What will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Oh. <laughs> do we have to? No reason for us not to stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Viconia, bitch ass! Viconia, you trying to steal my girl? Yeah, I won't pry. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. How am I holding up in your estimations? How are you holding up? <laughs> Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. 
Perhaps I never did. And never will again. It is such a fucking different experience, her liking me at the beginning of the game versus... <laughs> me as Tav, she really did not like me like that. Now, I've never seen this option pop up before. So, I can't help but feel you and I might have missed a chance to connect. Truly connect. I think I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. There's an undeniable rapport, and yet we haven't made time for each other. Time alone. Easily remedied, if you like. Mm. I know a place. Yes! Not just yet. Let's <laughs> choose our moment. Some quiet night, when the others are asleep and there's no distractions. I'll come for you. Okay. <laughs> this fucking circle again. Ah, what shot of heart. There's something I've been wanting to share with you. Oh my god, what is it? <laughs> Now's a good time. I'm all ears. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Uh huh. Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. Are you sure? I'm sure. I trust you. <laughs> what am I gonna see? How I came to be who I am. Ah! This scene. How I found my way to Lady Shah's embrace. I need to put in my first reaction to getting this scene. <laughs> because this shit blew my mind that I got it in act one. I'm all ears. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. What are you about to show me? Use the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. I feel like I I did not get this option my first round. Are you are you sure? I'm sure. I trust you. <laughs> you know. I definitely didn't get this option the first round because she did not fuck with me like that. All right, let's use it. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. Is this a dark urge thing or is this a I didn't get a shadow heart earlier scene thing? Uh, we'll see. If it ever loads. Okay. What the fuck? I'm getting this so early. What the fuck? What? I didn't get this till like the end of act two. After we had already freed Aelin. What the? F I'm starting to learn just how much Shadowheart did not fuck with me the first time I played this. How am I a fucking cleric of Saluna and getting on her good side quicker than I did then? No wonder you're so dedicated to Shar. You feel like you owe your life to her. She about to fucking. Of course, I owe my life to her. Lady Shar. <laughs> but yes. What fucking bad, her, bro? And those who saved me, and taught me her ways. <laughs> the Mother Superior. She said that's Lady. She team, made bitch. me who I am. I don't remember how it started. Why is she so tall? Only how it ended. Oh my god. I was fleeing. Baby Shar. Shar. Fuck Shar. She's so tiny. Little space buns. They had Baconia's face covered. I wonder if people who played the other two games would have even recognized her until she spoke. Does she look the same?
Did they ever mention why they took Shadowheart specifically? Or was it just a Salunite? I can't remember what I said. I can't remember anything before those woods. All I know is she saved my life. And gave me a new home. With Lady Shah. <laughs> it hurts. She doesn't know how eerily similar that sounds to the rituals the Salunites do. Something sparks in your memory about Salunite rites of passage. You heard once about how they would send their children out into the wilds to navigate their way home. Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't think this character would bring it up. Mostly because it's one of those things where it's like you know, and you'll file it away for later. You know what I mean? Thank you for sharing that with me. I know it couldn't have been easy. Normally I'd agree, but with you, it's getting easier by the moment. <laughs> I love her. All right, Irina. Everybody's asleep, apparently. Crazy. Y'all wanna watch something hilarious? Exactly. Bah! Fuck you. Ding dong, the witch is dead type uh, shit. <laughs> I fucked that up. No, oh, that should be good. It seems oh. to be the perfect night to spend a little time together. Ooh. Just you and I. Assuming you haven't changed your mind, of course. No, do, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Lead the way. What? You made it. Come here. Sit with me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't show? Lots of people make promises. You keep them. <laughs> okay. Well, yep. To begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Hmm. What would this bitch say? I'm gonna keep flirty to us. Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. I know tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Well, I don't have no memory, so it's not like I would. <laughs> I don't have any memories. I'm gonna make up what this memory is. What? What? What can I make up for this memory? I'm gonna just use the smidget that I made for her backstory, which is that they fled the Underdark because of her dad's mistreatment. And that's kind of all she remembers about her parents. Seems like you truly know the well. city. I never got to explore it to my liking. And I guess they grew up in Baldur's Gate after that. that that's what I'm saying, that memory Don't was. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> Your turn, I insist. A little give and take is only fair. I was scared I was gonna miss that roll. <laughs> Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things, they're That's lost to me right now. You like night orchids and can't swim. You told me that. <laughs> I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine. <laughs> and the whole night is ahead of us. Yeah. Where'd we find wine? Oh, that's pretty. That's so pretty. It's a, oh, it's just Nearly one bottle. Night. 
The others will be awake soon. Uh huh. <laughs> the others can get fucked. <laughs> I don't want to leave. Another moment won't kill them, I suppose. Well, it might, but let's take that risk. Thank you for last night. I hope there'll be more to come. Me too. What the fuck? What kind of insight did I just- Ow! Shit, that hurt. <laughs> what did I just miss? Nah. No. No. What role did I just- In fuck. The last fucking save was so long ago. Ow, I hit my foot. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. Okay, okay. And read an invitation in her eyes. A lot of. <laughs> I really fucking failed that. <laughs> I kind of like this. Why is she scooting in the side of the screen? That is so odd. You know, if you want something, I think you should take it. Love her. Love her. That didn't hurt, did it? Why would... <laughs> A little tingle. I'd like to think that would have happened anyway. <laughs> Let's head back. If we must. Why would that have hurt? What did you do? <laughs> Shadow heart. All's well, I hope. Mm -hmm. ah! I wanted to talk to you about last night we spent together. I was going <laughs> to say the very same thing. As soon as I worked up my courage a little. <laughs> I can't recall the last time I shared so much with someone. Maybe I never did before. It meant a lot to me. You mean a lot to me. And that was before the kiss. <laughs> Period. Damn! Yeah, them last two are not getting said. <laughs> that night meant a lot to me too, and I hope there's more to come. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. I do! I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. What is there to talk about? Oh my god, this makes me nervous. <laughs> we share something special, I think, and I want to talk about it. Very serious of you. Ah. But go ahead. How are you faring? It's strange. I've been dwelling on what <laughs> I told you before about wanting to become a dark justicia. But perhaps I should be content with my lot. I'm already blessed to have you at my side, after all. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. 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 <laughs> I love her. But whatever. 